Hi, Brian McAvoy here with Inside Out Trading. And today in this week's video, we're going to be talking about something a little different, um, different aspect of trading. And really, this is more on the personal side of it. But one lesson I learned a long time ago when I was when I was first trading, and especially uh, when I started to hit the rough spell that eventually was my my downfall in my first year when I wound up blowing up my account. There's one thing that I've, I've learned over the years. Um, it just, I mean, going way back to probably my, you know, teen uh, you know, years when I was still back, you know, back in school before I graduated high school and everything. I'd learned, I'd heard of the notion, you know, to trust your gut instinct, you know, listen to your, to your gut. And that I've noticed that there are the times in my life when things really were going south, I was ignoring my gut and I was also ignoring, and this, this is really the more important thing is, you know, whether you, whether you have a, a strong religious background or not, there's really no denying that there's got to be something more at play in this universe than just matter. You just can't deny it. There's no way that we have this world that we do, that you have the body and the consciousness and the mind that you do. And it all came about through random events. There's just no way that we could get to this sophisticated of a system. I mean, if you think about it, your body consists of billions of living cells that know how to do what they do without any conscious direction on your part. Your body has an insane intelligence. I mean, if you think of how complex the human body is, and then you look at nature and the things that go on, there's no way that this all came to be through pure chance, through random events, and all of this just developing through random events. There's just no way. There's an intelligence behind all of this. Whether you want to call it God, source energy, you know, whatever, there's, there's no denying it. And so the reason I bring that up is, okay, if we acknowledge that, yes, there is an intelligence that, that exists in the universe and call it the mind of God, or whatever you want, well, then it does only make sense that when certain things are happening, that there's an intelligence behind those happenings. And so if you're trying to do something, like for me, when I was, uh, especially when I was really getting to placing stupid trades that I really had no business placing and putting big money on them, where I'm losing like three, five grand at a pop, I kept running into all kinds of resistance. It was like the universe was trying to tell me, Brian, you're not supposed to be doing this. And I mean, for example, uh, you know, granted this back, way back in the day, but, you know, I was having to head over to FedEx uh, office to, you know, mail off the certified check that I had gotten to open a, the, the account with this broker that called me and wound up, of course, conning me out of it because I was all being I was being very stupid at that time. But I was running at all kinds of resistance. It's like I ran into traffic. I, I got over to FedEx, had problems there. And it's like the universe was throwing all these obstacles in my way, saying, Brian, you shouldn't be doing this. And I ignored them all and I pushed through it and, and, and you know, wind up losing the money and feeling stupid afterwards. But the thing is, my point is, you know, you, you need to trust your gut because your body has an intelligence. And, and again, you know, the universal intelligence speaking through your body, but the universe will throw signs your way from outside of you. Circumstantial evidence, nudges, uh, you know, pushes, whatever you want to call it, or obstacles. And so it's really important that you pay attention. Uh, one thing that I really liked uh, when I read Neil, uh, Neil Donald Walsh's book, um, he's the guy that uh, wrote uh, Conversations with God, a series of books, great, uh, very, very uh, uh, excellent series of books. But when I read his this one, I believe it was uh, Messages from God, um, was a, the summary book that he wrote, where he summarized all the, like the, the top 25 messages from his other books. And it was really cool because at the very beginning of it, he's talking about how um, he was on this talk show and the, this guy, um, the, the host of the talk show, you know, of course, he he, he wanted to <laughs> he said, you know, we've only got 30 seconds here. So, you know, I, um, you know, can you sum up your books in 30 seconds? And he says, so I'm sitting there thinking to myself, how in the heck am I going to sign up, you know, sum up 9000 pages worth of books in 30 seconds? And he said, and of course, the answer came to me. And he said, I can I can sum it up in five words. What what God's main message was. And the guy's like, wow, really? He says, okay, so what are these magic five words? He says, you've got me all wrong. And it was really cool because, you know, you, you could tell, yeah, most people, their concept of God, they are, they, you know, they do have some serious misconceptions about it. And the other thing that, that Neil Donald Walsh said that, that really 
hit home with me. And again, it, this ties it back to what, what, what I was just talking about. He said, you know, there, there's some people, he's, you know, he's been asked over the years, you know, why is it that it seems only some people are, you know, have the gift of being able to talk to God or have God talk to them. And he said, God's talking to everybody all the time. So it's not really, you know, you know, who's, who's special, you know, to, to, you know, for God to talk to you, it's who's listening, who's paying attention. And he said, because God's talking to you all the time through, you know, events and, you know, people that you encounter and things that happen in your day, information that comes your way, opportunities that come your way, obstacles that come your way. So as you're being guided all the time, if you'll just pay attention. And I found that to be very true. And it's really, really cool. I mean, because, you know, God put us here to have this adventure uh, of, of our life, you know, this experience of our life. And so, yeah, it's going to have some challenges that's for our growth and just to make it more of an interesting adventure while we're here. And sometimes things go smoothly and they're like super easy and you get nudges in a certain direction and, and you know, it, uh, yeah, things just flow. So, you know, it's, under, it's important to understand, yeah, you know, this is a ride that we're here on. And it's like, you know, a big amusement park. And so we get to have all these adventures as we go through our life. But we're not alone. Um, you know, God is here with us. And so we just need to pay attention when he's talking to us, whether it's that quiet voice inside uh, or, you know, an, an odd happening. You know, we, you go to pick up the phone to call somebody you haven't talked to in two years and, you know, they're texting you at the same time. Stuff like that. The, the weird coincidences that happen. It, you know, pay attention to them because they're not always random. Matter of fact, I've come to learn that there are very few random things. The, you know, the saying, everything happens for a purpose. I found that's, there's a lot of merit to that thought. So anyway, when it comes to your trading, if you're finding that, you know, yeah, man, it's just, you know, what you've been doing, it's just rough and it's not fun anymore. And it's, yeah, it just seems to be a ton of resistance coming your way. Well, step back, you know, maybe you're being told either, you know, trading isn't for you. You really should be doing something else which is perfectly valid and it's fine. You have literally thousands of other things you could go do if it's, you know, if you're just doing it for the money or if you do truly enjoy it, but you're struggling, it's like, okay, well, maybe God's telling me I just need to take a different approach to it. Maybe the way I've been looking at it isn't the right way for me to go about it. So I need to just step back and say, well, you know, yeah, how have I been going about it? I'm trying to do everything on my own. Am I learning from, you know, crazy YouTube videos with the, you know, the, the, the you know, 16 year old kid who just made a million dollars today and he's sitting on a, you know, the hood of his Lambo in front of the estate that he doesn't own either you know, that kind of stuff. So, you know, just like I said, pay attention to the signs. If you're hitting a lot of resistance, step back and say, you know, is God challenging me saying I need to push through? Or is he saying you're, you're, you shouldn't be going this direction, pick a different direction. So um, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. It, I, I find it interesting. I get reminded on a regular basis to pay attention to this myself. And I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, and when I do pay attention, uh, things tend to go a whole lot more smoothly than when I don't. So Anyway, that's this week's video. Uh, if you found this helpful, uh, share it with your friends. Uh, if you like this channel, I mean, uh, this, uh, my channel, I try to make it all about, you know, helping you become a better trader, treat your trading like a business, you know, make it a good long-term financial asset and, a, and an occupation that you enjoy and succeed at. Uh, so if you enjoy the channel, uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe, give me a like down below. And uh, again, I hope this has been helpful. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers.